The program. We've gone over an awful lot in this training and talked about some high-level concepts such as work-life balance, side hustles, prioritizing workloads and productivity tips. Now let's recap everything we've learned and put it together into a program so you are a happier, healthier digital marketer. If you are an internet entrepreneur or small business, then you will probably often feel as though your resources are being stretched to the point where you're struggling to get everything done. Chances are, you will be juggling multiple tasks at any given time and trying to decide which of your different commitments or side projects should come first. For instance, if you use bootstrapping to fund some of your larger projects, then that will mean you might well have to provide services on a regular basis in order to maintain your funding. Meanwhile, though, if you're doing that, then you will also want to make sure that you actually spend some of your time pursuing those projects that you're more passionate about, too. And that could potentially be more profitable in the long term. But then you need to choose which of those projects to invest the most time in, and which to do first all the while completing various administrative tasks and dealing with the other drains in your time, such as, you know, life, lifestyle design. Key to all of this is to know what you want from life and how your online business fits into this. Do you want a purely passive income that allows you to travel and forget work? Or are you happy to work hard indefinitely, as long as it's on a topic that you enjoy? More importantly, how much money do you need to live? What are your personal aspirations? How much time will it take you to earn that money? What are the different variables you can manipulate to get the lifestyle you want? At the same time, consider what you need to get your internet marketing business off the ground. With all that in mind, you can then work on how much money you need to earn and make sure that you do that every day. Be strict and leave time for yourself and for your passion projects. Hierarchy if you're anything like me, then you will probably have about 20 side projects going on at any one time, as well as your main job and other commitments. This is something that was recognized at the organization I worked for last, where they said to work using the following guideline. Family first, then work, then personal development. The family first thing is something that's important to remember when you're an entrepreneur, as you don't want to get so wrapped up in pursuing success that you forget the reason you wanted to be successful in the first place, which was probably to spend more time with your family and to be able to support them. Work, then, comes before development, which can mean personal development or R&D, because you have committed to your clients and employers when you take on these jobs, and delivering results on time is crucial for your reputation and your continued financial stability. Separating your work. The danger, though, here is that you might end up never actually getting around to the projects that you want to work on, and so fail to make any progress as a business because you'd be too busy fulfilling your day-to-day -day needs. To solve this problem, a good system to use is to separate your workload into distinct sections that you can then work through in sequence. For instance, you might allocate the first half of your day to your immediate pressing tasks and commitments you have to clients. Following this, you might then divide the next half of the day into administrative tasks followed by work on your projects. This would mean that you'll definitely get time to work on your projects. But on slow days or days when you have a larger-than-normal workload, your most crucial tasks won't be the ones to suffer. You would then also draw a line underneath your day to mark the end of your working day and to avoid it spilling over into your private life. Your family will thank you and you'll come into work with more energy and rejuvenated enthusiasm. Organizing your projects. In terms of knowing which of your projects to work on when, you will again benefit from focusing on one side project at a time, rather than trying to divide your attention between all of them at once. To decide which of your projects you want to prioritize first, it can be useful to do some math and to look into your projected time to completion versus the potential profit of the project. In other words, then, if you have a lengthy project that is something of a labor of love for you, then you may want to deprioritize this and focus on the shorter and more immediate profitable tasks. If you finish the smaller tasks first and these start bringing in profits, then you'll increase your overall turnover much more quickly than you would working on a lengthy and risky project initially. Once you have built up some success and experience, you can then turn your attention to the more ambitious concepts. Of course, there is always the chance that if one of your smaller side projects takes off in too big a way, it could end up preventing you from ever focusing on your dream projects. 
While profits are important, and it's good for business to use the above method, it's equally important to make sure that any projects you spend time on fit your company's mission statement. If you can't get passionate about it, then you have no business doing it. Steps to a Better Lifestyle So for the burned out blogger or the internet marketing maniac, here are some steps to enjoying a better work-life balance. Create a business model with a stable revenue stream and a passion project. Bootstrap Know precisely how much you need to earn to fund your lifestyle and your passion projects. Likewise, know the lifestyle you want to live and consider a digital marketing strategy to achieve that. This might mean becoming a digital nomad, but think it through carefully. Earn that amount each day. Then switch focus. Work on one side project at a time. Make sure it is something that you love doing. Make sure it is something with a good risk-reward ratio. Start out with fail-fast smaller business projects in order to learn and to start bringing in more passive income. Do not spend months and months on a sales funnel for your first project. Gradually switch the balance from the grind to those passion projects. Create multiple revenue streams. Look after your mental and physical health. Keep the mental discipline to avoid the temptation to keep working and to separate your work and your life. Meditation can be hugely beneficial. Eat sleep, exercise. Dress for the job you want. Invest in yourself, in a great home office and a great powerful computer for working on. Go to coffee shops to escape your own environment. You can travel more without necessarily becoming a digital nomad. Find the passion. Become a content creator more than a marketer. Don't expect overnight success. Remove the pressure. This means writing a strict schedule to define when you work on which projects as well as when you'll finish work. And this is what all of this really comes down to. Discipline. With discipline and passion, you will be able to tame this mighty beast and make digital marketing work for you. Then, anything is possible.